When LCFS was established in 1873, 13 Lutheran congregations here in Northern Illinois came together to purchase the land in Addison. They built the uh, Evangelical Lutheran Orphanage there in Lake Street in Addison. Then uh, obviously it's grown significantly over the years. The agency was rooted in the teachings of the church of caring for a neighbor, loving our neighbor, back in the beginning, and that's still very much a foundation for this organization. I think that our biggest accomplishment is impacting the lives of children and families in really a positive way so they can live more fulfilling lives and hopefully productive members of society. So our emphasis upon values, valuing the dignity and worth of every individual really has, you know, it's motivated the organization to, as I say, respond in a variety of new and innovative ways. LCFS has a reputation of high quality, highly professional service that exists to this day. LCFS captured me, captured my heart, captured my energy. To me, the exciting thing is that's continuing to go on. The future for LCFS is bright and I take great satisfaction in being part of laying that foundation. We waited five years before having, having any kids and then um, and then Colette came along, our daughter who is now 12. She was such an easy, happy, chubby, bubbly baby. But pregnancy was hard. Um, I have some health issues and I wanted one more kid at least, but you know, we weren't sure how that was gonna work out. And then two years, almost three years later, we had Declan, our son who's nine, and our family didn't feel complete. So we were thinking about doing foster care. The idea of taking in a child that needs a home was appealing to us. We were open to like another boy or a girl coming along next with, and we understood in foster care, like someone who's in need and we had kept all of our baby stuff and we're just, we're just ready to, yeah, take another kid. At Lutheran Family Services, we got connected with someone. The classes through the state were really good. Like they were really well run. The instructor was fantastic and we met awesome people in the class. It's a journey to get ready for it. Leandra's been a solid rock throughout this whole journey. She responds right away to when we have questions. When we needed information and it wasn't necessarily in her own wheelhouse, she helped us find answers. She was really encouraging throughout the licensing process and yes. our home inspections. It was the height of the lockdown when I got the call about Kesley and went to uh, Comer Children's Hospital and like got to hold her for a few days. And just seeing this beautiful baby and just holding her, I think, you know, that bonding process started right away. Kesley was born drug exposed and they had discovered that she also had a cleft palate and needed to have surgery and repair, but it was a little bit harder to learn bottle feeding and, you know, it was a little bit harder just because of the shape of her mouth. After we had Kesley in our home, the process started where LCFS had to investigate where her biological parents were. We ended not being able to find her biological parents, um, but they had to go through a very detailed process to make sure that there weren't other family members who wanted her. As it became clear that there was no family coming forward, like we were her family. The rest were just formalities getting to the actual adoption date. Seeing my older children's bond with her too has been an incredible experience. They've stepped up and they love her tremendously and they're there for her. Colette, who's 12, is such a natural caregiver too. And she changed diapers, she brings Kesley food, she'll sometimes help with bedtime. And Declan, who's nine, you know, just like uh, about a week or two ago was like, can I put Kesley to bed? He wants to read her the book, he wants to put her to bed. Or when it's time to get up, can I get her up from nap time? Kesley today is a very healthy, very energetic, very strong-willed... Um, three-year-old. Three-year-old <laughs> who's thriving in her preschool. She loves to draw. She's really into blocks right now, like building blocks, pulling books off her shelf, and she'll want to tell you the story. It's really cute. A family of five, it feels, it feels right. It's hectic, but in a lot of ways, it's a good busyness. Kesley had an amazing circle of support since the beginning, beginning with the doctors that cared for her, the nurses that took care for her. LCFS had her placed with us, 
she had early intervention specialists, and that doesn't even include our friends and family that were rooting for us. My hope for Kesley's future is just one where she knows that she has, from the first day, been a part of our family. I want her to know that no matter what she's feeling or what questions she has, that we're here for her. My hope is that we can provide her with everything she needs. Being a foster care parent is so important because it offers a child a safe and loving environment. A lot of people find out that we're foster parents and they were like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I don't know how you do it. And the answer is like, yes, you can. Foster care is important because there are kids who need homes, who are in tough situations and it may be temporary. It may be a forever home, but they need, they need homes. And if that tugs at your heart, you know, it is amazing to be part of that experience. I love our vision. It says not only do the families that we engage with on a daily basis to ensure that those children are cared for and those children are nurtured and those children have the ability to achieve their God-given potential, but our vision says all of God's children, not just the ones that come to service for us. Our vision guides our future. So into the future, we're going to continue to, to partner with the families uh, that we're working with that are struggling and get those children home or adopted or in a permanent guardianship relationship with, with a relative. But what we also want to see is really enhancing our intact services and really community-focused services that when a family starts to struggle, they can get the help they need and avoid any formal contact with the formalized child protection system. Every family has a different journey and we're blessed to help them along their journey when they find some stumbling blocks. Being one of the largest organizations in the state serving struggling families, we have the unique ability to have a voice and to leverage that voice and to say we need to do things different, we need to do things better. I'm very confident in the incredible talent that we have working here at LCFS that we can make that happen and that we can see families getting the help they need when they need it. So our supporters, our donors, our LCFS family members are all part of that circle of support. We cannot meet the family's needs without everybody coming together and without those that can support us financially, those that can support us through volunteerism, those can just support us and say, let us know if there's anything we can do to help a family within our community. That's the circle of support. We can't do that by ourselves. We can't do that without everybody coming together, without that village saying, we're going to support this family. That's the circle of support and that's what LCFS is all about.